Hello, Monsters Abound, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires. And part 13, unlucky for some of my Isabella, well, von Karstein campaign. Isabella is, we started with Isabella, but we now have Vlad, who dies pretty much every episode, I feel like, at least once. Um, but, you know, that is, if anything, true to form, because he, he did die a lot in the lore as well. You just can't keep a dream flatty down, I guess. Now, of course, this is a Patreon campaign, so it's Patreon uh, exclusive, early, oh, I say exclusive, early access for Patreon supporters, so we'll get it before it comes out on YouTube. And uh, we also do polls, and last time it was, what should we spend our blood kisses on? And they were like, yep, save it for the net crutch, which, to be honest, makes a lot of sense, because that is going to give us the upkeep reduction for all units, which is quite nice. I'll take that. Now, we've got some issues. I say issues. We've got, we've got a lot of issues. We've got dwarves over there. We've got the Empire over here. We've got more Empire over here. I'm quite sick of fighting the Empire, to be, to be brutally honest. I'm like, oh, it's just all friggin' state troops and God knows what else. So, um... Sigma forbids this. Oh, does he? I mean, I'm gonna be honest. He forbids quite a lot of stuff, doesn't he? He generally wasn't a very down with it kind of guy was he I mean for a big old muscly barbarian as well which is what Sigmar was I mean he wasn't like some some guy with a cod piece he was he was a fucking barbarian king mate he you know he was it's like a picture of him and he's like got his shirt off and everything his big old big old Ripley just like me really um you know I, I saw that picture and I thought yeah I think they might have might have based that on me I thought about opening up a lawsuit but I thought you know what no point you know just just let them have it so um Dolph Dolph, Dolph, Dolphy, Dolph. You're going to wound, I think. You're going to wound. I don't know why, but that's what you're doing. Your wish, master. Is... For you to just... Maybe actually come back to Templehof? I think? Yes, okay, we've got the Vampire Crypt coming there. I'm a little bit concerned about this army. There's Thorgrim over there. And uh, the, the dwarves have been sort of like contained to this, this northern... World Edge Mountains, and that's a big problem for us because that means they are going to be recruiting stacks and stacks of fucking dwarves right up here, all up in my shit, which is not what I wanted. I wanted them to be recruiting down here, and then, you know, then I'm not too worried about this, but now they're up here, and they're probably going to attack me because they look at me and they go, oh look, there's the, the non-AI player, let's kick the shit out of him. So I've got that to look forward to. Uh, Ostermark, I'm not too bothered about you, so I'm just going to end the turn, I think. Let's see if we can get some ambushes, that'd be nice. Okay, well, our ambush failed, but we have got our friend Volk. Oh god, I've been fighting Volkmar so much in my Throt campaign. <sighs> and he's got a friggin' Luminarch as well. Okay. Okay. Here we go, boys and girls. Well, girls and bat monsters. We've learned that that Luminarch, or those Luminarchs, are a bloody menace. So first things first, we're dive bombing it. Because that thing needs to die. Because it stops all my magic regeneration, and that's basically how I kill shit. So we're coming down, and just, just attacking it from every direction, smashing it to pieces, attempting to destroy it before it can get away. Unfortunately, it drives off in the, other, in the other direction, and even though Scary Spice is chasing after it, and that is a bit of a problem for us, because Scary Spice is on it, unfortunately, she then gets completely surrounded by Demigriff Knights. Uh-oh, that's not good. She's the newest member of the band, and unfortunately, that means she doesn't have any defensive abilities, so she is going to get... Well, she, she, she's getting heavily penetrated. Either way, um, we then have the Luminarch come back to the fight for some reason, and also a lovely... Wind of Death. I'm going to slow down because it's going to be glorious. Because the enemy army has, for some reason, decided to just basically line up in a big blob here. So this is going to be fairly dramatic. Um, it's going to just carve... I mean, just, just look at that jam. It's a tidal wave of jam. With little meaty worms in it. I mean, that is... That, yeah. 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 
that, that did a lot of damage to the enemy army. Uh, Isabella get, racking up almost 500 kills. The new mark is getting is, is routing now. It's it's almost shattered, but it's not quite. And as long as it's on the battlefield, it's still going to cause issues. It's getting away. It's getting away. And I'm like, no, you don't. No, you don't. Come back here, you little shits. Get it. Smash it up. We got it. It's down. We now have mana regeneration. Unfortunately, Scary Spice is, as I say, she's just surrounded and unfortunately becoming desperately sad about the situation. And we're trying to heal her up, but, we, you know, we're coming in to try and save her, but it's just not going to be enough. She just doesn't have... She just becomes a little bit too sad and, uh, unfortunately, carks it. She did well tanking the entire unit of demigriffs for God knows how long, but... Unfortunate. Never mind. Don't let the zombies bite. There's, there's no zombies, mate. Meanwhile, we've got the Vargeists now coming in to knock out some of these, these missile units. I do think mixing in some other units probably probably quite useful, actually, because it does mean you can like pick off these missile units while the vampires sort of like deal with everyone else, basically. There's Volkmar getting stuck in. He doesn't have his stupid pimp wagon at the moment. Now the Vargeist is chewing up these handguns. Another wind of death coming in there. Slamming through the enemy army and doing even more damage. We need to deal with Volkmar really. But uh, this, this steam tank is, in my opinion, probably worse to deal with to be honest. But at least at least without his, um, his what is it, battle altar? At least without that, he's, he's not unbreakable, and he doesn't have Banishment. Not that Banishment would actually be that big. If anything, he'd probably just cast Banishment on the vampires while they're in melee with, with the infantry and end up killing a lot of them. Off goes Volkmar, running away. I'm going to regret letting him escape, but never mind. I've got bigger fish to fry. Because until that steam tank dies, this battle is not over. Everyone's covered in blood. Or as Isabella calls it, lunch. And we actually have... I mean, Isabella's now got 750 kills, which is, you know, pretty good. Two wins of death. Not bad. Empire Caps in running off there. And now we just need to deal with that steam tank. Of course, they're, they're annoying to deal with, but distinctly less annoying when we're on our, our, flappy, our flappy dead horses. Because it means that they can just push us around, but they can't actually, like, send us flying which is kind of the major issue with steam tanks I've had in the past, so um, putting them on the flappy dead things, pretty pretty good shout. And once they've got them, once they've got it surrounded, they will they will hack through it fairly easily. Well, we lost scary spice. Guess she just wasn't scary enough. Never mind. These things happen. Um, I'm gonna take the money. Now, Altdorf is under siege. That's not ideal. Do I have defences there? I need to rescue that. I need to get up there and sort that out. I'm a little bit concerned they might hit it next turn, and I don't think I can reach it. No, I'll be out of range. By Sigma, no. Okay, we do we do have some defences there, so it's not the end of the world. It's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. So we can, we'll probably be fine. Now, that army ran away. I could take out this army from Osland. I've got Invoke Animalistic Hunger and a Mortal Informer, Shield of Potter Loss, we're fortunate, we're severe, all that kind of good stuff. Isabella, almost, max rank. So, what are we going to do with you? Hmm. Ancient Cunning, not the worst thing. A little bit of extra replenishment, not the worst thing. Uh, you know what, let's maybe go up, reduce, in I should have got it... I didn't have the invocation of the heck, and I should have done that beforehand, but I did not. But that's fine, because we've done it now. And I guess with you... 
I mean... Occam's Mind Razor? I think it might be worth getting it, just to be on the safe side. Uh, let's upgrade that one as well. Sure. So we could deal with that army. You have wandered off up there, which is... An, I don't know why you didn't attack Nag... I mean, maybe you just didn't have the army to attack. Nag and Hoff. Okay, you're dead. My thralls track ahead. Indeed. Good stuff. Okay, let's Moving. just chill here for a minute. Will be placed. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to trespass on the rats, and they're not going to like that, but tough shit. Because Krugenheim over there is defenseless. Now, Nullen does have defences, so it should be okay. So, we're going to go and attack Gromberg. Can we just auto resolve that one? Yes, we can. Okay, let's... Let's sack it. It's a little bit dicey, but we can run over there. I could I could march. I could march. Tell you what, let's let's get some let's get some bats and stuff like that. And then we will march over here. Just to try they might attack. You know what? That's actually not too bad. Because looking at that, they've got a lot of artillery, which is which is annoying. But realistically, they don't actually have much that can take the settlement. This action does not have my consent. Because they've got two great swords, three state troops, and a free company militia, and a right guard, and Carl himself, who let's face it has a, has a chin. The rest of it, I mean, you can bombard us to ship, but. I guess the problem is you can bombard us to shit. It's a lot of stuff. Um, is that fine? Hmm, I'm dubious. I mean, worst case, if they do take... I mean, we'll, we'll fight the battle, and if they do take the city, then we'll just take it back, because we'll be able to, so it's not... It's not super problematic. We've, we've blunted the... Sub I mean, they are recruiting stuff down here very quickly. We need to we need to take out Piffledorf ASAP, but I just don't have the... Don't have the armies at the moment. Yes. I'm tempted to maybe Ask your favor, and I will check with try and peace out with the dwarfs, but I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna fly. No. Oh. The fuck happened there? Not sure. Now this is. They are losing public order because there is so much vampiric corruption. It is now dropping, but it's still going to be a problem for I them. Hunt. So. Let's let's get Deathly Vigor. And Father Dougal can have Wind of Death, because that's a good spell to have. I kinda want I, I wanna go and get Isabella's chalice, but I can't at the moment because I've just uh it's just not too much other stuff to do. Uh Karen. Do you wanna stab people? Is that something you can do for me? Is there anyone you can stab here? Block, block. Ah, Dolph. Holy shit! You critically. Si I did not. I did not think you'd do that. I honestly thought that was going to be a failure for you, but you just went in. You stabbed him. It was a grade A shanking. Good, good bloody job. Good bloody. Oh, holy shit! What a good job. Upkeep for Vargolfs. Meh. Armor piercing damage for fell bats. Yeah. I'm not too bothered about any of this. Shall we? Maybe a lot of people like the the free zombies and skeletons. I'm kind of like they're all right if you want to go that way, but I'm not super into it. Uh, no, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna build that. We're gonna hit Krugenheim. I'm probably gonna burn it to the ground. I don't know if I particularly want to to capture it, but we will burn it to the ground. Um, let's go with the withering. Reduce. I mean, not that reducing everyone's armor is super useful for the uh, the single ladies because obviously they've got. You know, ridiculous amounts of armor piercing. So, what's their armor piercing? Um, you know what? Their armor piercing isn't actually as high as I thought it would be. Only 189, which is not actually that great. Well, that's a turn up for the books. 
Looks like Carl, seeing the single ladies heading this way, just, just legged it. He's just run back to Gromberg with his tail between his legs. Okay, we've got the Book of Arkham. Let us go and hit Krugenheim while it's here. I'm just going to resolve that one. That's fine. And I'm going to sack that for the cash. Thank you very much. Thanks. That's super good of you. Come back there and replenish. That's also going to level Vlad up, which is very useful. So let's get... I want, I want Wind of Death. I want, I want to make him a killy boy, but at the same time, Wind of Death. Need... Ascendant. Yes, I know who you are. Will be done. Okay, recruiting. Overruled. Recruiting some boys. I don't think so. Light. Who wishes the Do that. Kiss. And we're going to come Light. back to Nagenhof. I'm wondering if we can maybe peace out with these guys. Parley with the dead. Be gone, abomination. I mean, you say you will not parley, and yet, and yet, look what's happening. This could take some... I, I just don't know if we can... I've, I've got too much I've got too much else on. I, I want to take him out, but I just don't know if I can. It's, it's overextending myself. Agreed. Okay, I'm going to take the money. I'm going to, I'm going to peace out with him. Yes, I think that's what we're doing. Sire. I don't like it. It doesn't feel good, but I think that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, work Baz. We could level you up. Nolan is upgrade. Okay, let's let's upgrade work Baz because then we can upgrade um, all this kind of stuff, and that's going to then pump out corruption. Could we do that? Or we could do that. I'm not too bothered about these because I just want the growth. So Carl has fled back from whence he came. What a what a what a scallywag he is. Uh, so, let's just get the research first. Let's get the raised newly dead, so more melee attack and defense for the for garbage. And let's kill Carl. I mean, that's a lot of that's a lot of missile stuff coming this way. But to be honest, might actually work out in our favor. All those entirely missed. Unfortunate. Okay, so we're only really going to get one shot. In come the vamps. And on our left flank, we've got our dire walls and bats. On the right flank, the Vargeists. We've got a little, little pincer attack here as we come into the enemy centre. Basically, just draw in the enemy infantry so that our, our flying units and fast moving units can then get some stuff done. For some reason, some of the war wagons charge us, which I'm kind of like fine with because I can then, you know, brutally murder them. I'm not 100% sure what they were thinking, but that's fine. And the unit's now coming in from the flanks. A little bit of rocket fire there, but pretty much unscathed as we come in. It's a hit from that Hellstorm rocket battery crew. Coming down there to take out that Hellstorm rocket battery. Moving in to engage the crossbows. Over here, we're knocking out the rest of the Hellstorm batteries. And the mortars. That's the end of them. And, you know, we're, tr we're trying some different things. We did a, a little evil vortexy thing there, but it immediately wandered. I mean, I was hoping what it would do is, like, come along this way, you know, career through the end. But, it, of course, it, it immediately dashed off into the middle distance to, to do no damage. As is tradition for Vortex spells. Our fast moving units giving that infantry the slip and hunting down those missile units. So this Free Company Militia is slightly harder to deal with for the puppies because uh, the, the Free Company Militia are actually better in melee than them. So uh, they're, they're going to struggle a little bit there. But they do have some help coming in the form of the Vargais. But Vargais decided to turn back at the last second and reform their, their unit for some reason before then coming back to help out. Which means the Dire Walls are taking a little bit more damage than they should. But here come the Vargeists, finally. And that should change the fortunes of that particular little engagement. Absolute carnage with the infantry, as you would expect. Victory's already in our grasp. Of course it is. It always was. Carl's in here somewhere, but I'm not particularly interested in what he's up to, to be honest. 
We've knocked out the enemy artillery, just the war wagons with mortars to deal with. Um, they're one of those units that's pretty terrible for the player because oh, they're just just a bit tedious. So they're just not they're not they're not great, but what they are is kind of annoying for the AI to recruit because you end up with like you know six of the friggin things wandering around the entire battlefield. You have to hunt them down. They don't do much damage. It's just more that they're just kind of irritating to deal with. Like this. It does nothing. It's not going to do anything. They're, they're firing mortars at the diables. It's not, I mean, you know, likelihood it won't hit. And if it does, it'll do minimal damage. Who gives a shit? But it means I'm going to have to go and micro the shit out of them to go and hunt them down. Oh, there's Carl Franz. We've soul blighted him. And there's Isabella facing off against her foe. And winning quite handily, to be honest. There's a lot of dead state troops, isn't there? How's Carl doing? He's, he's not he's not looking super happy. He's got the Drakwald Rune Fang. More physical resistance and vigor. Is that going to help him? Mm, no. No, is the short answer to that one. It is not. Carl is running for his life, having watched his men die around him. He's now desperately trying to get away. Will he manage it? Nope, because he's got a number of vampires chasing after him. There he goes, down into the grass, where he belongs. So... Unless I'm counting wrong, Isabella's taken out three stacks of Empire troops in two turns? I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. And also, hit max rank. Um, let's just sack Karaberg, because I have no interest in actually taking the piece of garbage. So, right. What I'm going to do is... Do I want to... You know what? I'm going to loot and occupy. To make sure it's level 1. And then I'm basically going to abandon it. I'm going to abandon the whole stinking place. Because I bought two. Right. So, let us grab... Uh, what do I like? What shall, what shall we grab? Uh, uh, I don't know. Devastating charge? Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Release the hounds. I do like my wolfy boys. I'm not going to lie. I love them. Bloody love them. Bloody love me a wolfy boy. Uh, what are you? 39. Okay, so you spread corruption, which is fine. Okay, get the withering then, I guess. Just to finish that one off. And could go... Oh, you know what? Spread corruption. Sure. Okay. Okay, shall we get the maximum level defences here? It is Altdorf, I think, yes. Plus, it's going to be our northernmost border, so... Who wishes the red kiss? Well, that is the question. That is the question, although having said that... Uh, bonus plus infantry, plus 25, sure. Having said that, we now have enough to get... Thank you. The uh, third neck ranch. There we go. And that has that's that that's helped quite substantially. We now actually have some income. We were actually good. Um, looks, we're actually losing income now. Now we've uh, we've got some income, which is uh, which is nice. King of darkness. Okay. Otherwise, I think we're all. I mean, you know, we've fended off some some quite nasty attacks actually the last few turns. Military alliance negotiated between Kazakarak and the last defenders. Fine. Gonna be honest, didn't see that one coming, but uh, nice to see. Oh, God, he's back. I mean, to be fair, I didn't kill him. Dolph! Dolph was wounded. And someone's coming into my, into my space, which I don't like. Okay, we'll abandon that. So, oh, the Von Karstein Ring. The Karstein Ring has returned to its master's uh, as to unlife once more, Vlad the first, I mean, numerous times. Vlad, the first vampire count, patriarch of the Von Karstein bloodline, is abroad and the world should tremble. However, 
This resurrection has proven a difficult one. The power of the ring fades, so Vlad must do something about it if he is to use its benighted abilities in the future. First, there are other priorities. Vlad's absence has been a long one, and his kin have been busy in intervening in intervening centuries. They've been plotting for what Vlad feels like is little gain. To interest in their own little petty disputes and sibling rivalries, it's time for the first von Karstein to wrest back control from these pretenders. To enact his grand plan, Vlad needs a companion. After all, what would the Count be without his lady? Does it as well no? Because... Oh, you little shit. I was stabbed by rats. Honest to God, you just wouldn't expect it, would you? You just wouldn't expect it. Okay, come down here. Dolly, we're going to give you... Uh, you know what? Impassioned, I think, actually. To start off with. Right, we're going to take Grumberg. I've given myself a little bit of breathing room up here. Um, now... If you're raiding me, you're not actually recruiting anything, which kind of works in my favour, so I'm kind of okay with that. Bow before me. I don't really want this. I want their souls. I mean, we all want something for that. So you're going to come over here. Now, I don't know where the dwarves are. Wait, was that you guys? Oh, you're... I've been trying to be friends with you. You actually like the stuff I'm doing against the Reichlands as well. You came along and just stat... Lord of Fear. Oh, f fuck. Oh, God. Oh, no, not you. Not you. Drucci are malicious and cruel. Speak carefully. On the Gresham Pact? Yes. God for that. Oh god, that guy's the worst. This night? He really is the worst. Yours is power I follow. Okay, I good good to hear. Right, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna we're gonna sandwich more time. Do I want more time? You know what? I'm gonna take more time. I've decided. It's gonna be done. We're gonna take it. We're gonna talk knock out uh, Gromberg deal with Volkmar. I feel like they... I don't think the Empire's got much up here. So, I think if we... We need to take out Piffledorf. If we can take it... Piffledorf is now their main recruitment base. That's where they're getting all their nasty shit from. If we can knock that out... This is where they're getting Luminarchs and shit from. If we can knock that out, then they won't be able to recruit that stuff anymore. And I like the idea of them not being able to recruit Luminarchs. In fact, I would go so far as to say, that's my primary strategy right this second. Make sure those absolute bastards can't recruit more friggin' Luminarchs. All shall know me and tremble. Ginger Spice, you are going to have uh, a bit of shades. Good. Uh, I need another vampire though, don't I? I can actually recruit one, can't I? Because uh, what's the face died. So actually, you know, her dropping dead actually quite useful for me. Um, should we get tough strategist confidence? Does confidence? St I think confidence does stack, doesn't it? So actually, it makes sense to get you. I can do that. What's this? The casting ring. Vlad has kept his revivification a secret from the general populace, both mortal and living. So far, both mortal and living. Wouldn't that be? Anyway, so far, as this is to serve his further his machinations, but now it is time to make the Midnight Aristocracy the quail in fear of dominance or flock to his banner. But now, best display, how best to display his power, blah, 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 blah. Pose me and die. Let me show you true power. Yeah. Amass ten big ones. Host of mask really? Vampires are greedy creatures. They always want more. Whether that's an immortal span, more blood, or greater power. Vlad has promised to share such resources, but first he must accrue them. Okay, so we need ten big ones. So basically, I'm going to hit more time next turn, I've decided. That means killing some rats, but we're going to do it. I'm going to take the hunger, spirit leech, safeguard. In fact, you know what? We've got so much um, winds of magic. I'm actually going to go for this first because I feel like 
having a little bit more tankiness might might help her. Uh, campaign line of sight, raise dead cost, sure. Campaign move range, sure. Magic item, sure. Public order. Fine. No, wait. Student. Everyone should have a student. What is my research rate? 243%. And that's just with students. I mean, I didn't. I never realised students were such good, at, so, you know, so useful at research. Normally, they just, you know, drink a lot and then stay in bed until like 11 o'clock in the morning. Or two o'clock in the afternoon. I remember those days. Heady days. Oh, you again. Okay, we've got Ray's newly dead. Will you try stop trying to stab me? Oh, hello. Uh, right. Alright. Alright. Father Dougal's. You're going to get wind of death. Do you need fresh troops? Oh, no, you're right, thanks. Okay, let's declare... Okay, yeah, we're going to declare war. We're going to, de we're going to declare war. There we go. Die! Clan Creepus, fine. Um, you know what? I thought that would be harder than that. Turns out it I'm just going to water us off that. There we go. I lost my poo piece, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to... I'm just going to occupy, I think. Banner of Swiftness, not the worst. Clan Creepus is dead. All those guys are dead as well. Right. Now, I could go for Uber's Reich. And I'm going to do just that. Unfortunately, I didn't bring Karen. And it looks like Volkmar's trying to slip north. Now, there are, there's, there's armies down here. Balthazar Gelt's down here with two Luminarchs. Fantastic. Fan bloody tastic. We'll build the siege tower. Oh, the the ram. We've got three turns. We got all defenses there. Once we get defenses there, we're, we're, I think we're fairly impregnable. I think. Hive Mind would give construction cost for vampire lair. Actually, that's quite useful. Minus fifty percent because that's. That's quite a lot, actually. I mean, that's a that's quite a big saving, and it reduces the turns as well. Huh. Yes, my son. I mean, problem is, is she ever going to be in the right place at the right time? You know, hero action cost in the. I mean, that's not. It's pretty good. I think I'm going to go Seduction, though, because that's a 41 second duration effect, which reduces speed and melee attack by 24, which is, I mean, that's, that's pretty brutal. Well, I mean, you, you say that, Vlad, but there's been, there's, there's been a few times, haven't there, where you are distinctly less unstoppable than you claim, and... I'm, I, you know, I don't want to point that out to you, but I feel like someone has to. Y you know? You. No, you won't. Die. Okay, failure there. Never mind. I would like to get defences here, mostly because it makes it a little bit more more buffery. Um, this, at least I know they're not a Karakadron. It looks like Grom Peak has been, I think the Orcs are pushing up. If they are pushing up, then that makes my life a little bit easier. Because it means, hopefully, that they'll kill the the bloody... Oh, we get Bonobos. They'll kill the dwarves for me, and I won't have to worry about it. That's that's the dream. Um, Edmund. You can, I guess, boost income. I guess. I guess. Did I want more time? Well, I've got it now. I want the moot. Well, I don't really want the moot, but I don't want the Empire having the moot because it means they've got a little recruitment base right there, and I don't like them having a recruitment base so close to me. Good to know. Um, also, you like me because I'm punching the Empire. Maybe Vashnar will actually be useful this, this campaign. Normally, he's a massive... Well, I say normally... In the past, he has been a massive pain in the ass. Particularly, I, I have a little bit of um, PTSD from my Imerit campaign, where he had amassed quite a large empire, and Vashnar 
he he recruits Chaos Chosen and Cross and Dark Elf Crossbows, which which basically complement each other very very well, and it is quite a pain in the ass to actually deal with. Um, so I'm a little bit like I had a bit of a rough time with him. Okay, I'm hoping we can just auto resolve this. Yeah, or not. Okay. Yeah, we will do in a second. We will do in a second. Right. We'll take Uber's Reich. Occupy that one. We'll get some defences here as well. Um, I'll probably go up and take Eelheart next, I think. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, Karen failed there. We've got that going on. I thirst. Mm. So, I've got some options here, because I could go north and wipe out the north of the Empire, or I could go south. Now, the problem is, they've got more settlements in the north, but in the south they've got Piffled, at least they've got Piffled off. You are not welcome in my court. Let's have a quick look. See, so, yes, yeah, so they've got this one down here as well, but... Piffledorf is their main recruitment base. Oh. Looks like they've also got hair gig up here. Right. Okay. I think it's fairly obvious what we've got to do here. Yes, my sire. I think it's fairly obvious. We need to knock out hair gig and Piffledorf. If we could knock out both of them. then they won't they won't be able to recruit nasty units although having said that if they then confederate with any other empire faction they will start doing it again so i've got some options here i can i can either send both both emma and isabella north to try and sort of like mop up the north of the empire and hopefully keep the rest of the empire factions at bay or i could send emma north and isabella south to sort of try like Emma head north to take out Hergig, Isabella head south to take out Piffledorf. And with any luck, knocking out both of them will then basically stop the Empire in their tracks. However, that does leave me slightly open to potential dwarf aggression. But it might be that they're busy with the greenskins. So... Do I send Emma to knock out Hergig, or do I keep her on standby just in case the dwarves launch an offensive? And does Isabella want to go north to help out, or do we want to go south to knock out Piffledorf? I'll leave that decision up to you, but that we'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.